Hello, Git Rebase. Why is it always so complicated to do that? And why would you actually want to do that? Okay, this is the very short explanation for that. Um, look at this. This is your, you have, imagine you have a master branch and you have a feature branch. And the feature branch, the base of the feature branch is this commit of the master branch. And what you do when you do a Git Rebase is that you change the base because you rebase it. You change the base from here to here. Okay. That's what you're doing with rebase. Why would you do that? Because when you now merge these two branches, then you have a very, very clean structure. You get this structure out of it. There are no commits in between here. It's like very clean, just goes out and comes back in. This is especially useful if you don't use squash merges. Okay, but why is this so complicated? Why are there so many steps? Why is this like, why do you need to use git rebase continue and stuff? And why can't you push afterwards? Let's check this out a little bit more in detail. Same thing, you have the master branch, you have the feature branch. And when you do a git rebase, you cannot just jump from the bottom to the top. What you instead do, oh, okay, one more try. What you instead do is you jump from here to here. And then you have some conflicts in your files and then you have to solve the conflicts. And then you can go on with git rebase continue and you jump to here and then you solve all your conflicts. You might in enter, you, you might have the same exact same conflicts that you already solved here, but you have the same conflicts and you solve the conflicts here as well. And then you go here and finally you are where you want to be. And also here you have to, sorry, also here you have to, of course, save the conf, uh, solve the conflicts that occur. It's basically a merge on every single node. So when you have a very, very, very long history that you didn't rebase uh, into, like when you have this kind of stuff, and especially when, when there are problems occurring, when there are conflicts occurring in, in this area, then rebase can be a real bit of a, a real, a real pain in the, uh, in the bottom, let's say bottom. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we're drifting off. So why, why is it so difficult to now push the problem is that um, in this, the, the push problem only occurs when you pushed the feature branch before. The thing is, when you push the feature branch, you get a copy of the feature branch on the server. So the server looks like this, right? Uh, let's make it three, like this. And like, let's say locally, you rebased it. This is your local rebase branch, and this is the server branch. And when you now try, this is, these are, this is the same branch, like it's called just feet, because it's shorter than feature. Right, it's the same branch, and when you now try to push this branch onto the server, the server says, "Well, wait, wait, wait. you're trying to push a branch, but the branch you're trying to push uh, is, is seems to be not the same, right?" And also, you remember that you did like some some you did some conflict stuff over here, like when you when you went here or here, you solved some conflicts over there. So it, essentially, you changed some files in here. So not only this is different, but also like this stuff is very different. So uh, when you try to push this branch, then the server, of course, complains, well, this is not the same branch, or like, that there's something wrong here. Um, essentially, you have rewritten the history, and you didn't let the server know about that. What you can do in this situation is, you can just, depending, like, this, okay, very difficult. You should check out on Stack Overflow what you can do. What I do, personally, I just put in a two here, check out, and, and check, if nobody else used this branch and then I delete this branch from the server and like then everything's working fine in this area. So I'm just adding a two and then I can push without any problems. And after the push is done, I can remove this branch if no one else is working on that branch. But yeah, these are the two things that make the rebasing, maybe make the rebasing very, very complicated because you have to go step by step by step by step and solve all the conflicts. And then even if you had no conflicts until here, you might anchor the push problem, but this is also very easily solvable with the two. On the other hand, what you gain is that you have a very, very nice merge structure. What I showed you before that you get this kind of merge structure. This helps you because when you have uh, many, many people working on the same stuff and you're working with branches then and you're always merging, then you might get like stuff like this, like a, a, a version tree like this. This is like a really huge or like, Right. And then this is like information that you probably can't use because it's too overcomplicated. But this is very easily to see. It's basically like a rail that just goes right on one way. Okay. That being said, thank you very much for listening and 
comments and questions in the comments section, please.